The plan to split ESCOM into three units is meant to improve management, efficiencies and reduce reliance on government funding. Public Enterprises Minister Pravin Gordon has given ESCOM the go-ahead to sell its distribution assets to a wholly owned subsidiary. This would include assets and liabilities. Further work still needs to be done and agreed upon in relation to the business and the financial model of the newly established distribution company. The restructuring process is a crucial part of ensuring energy security in the future for all South Africans. The DPE and government are fully committed to the implementation of the ESCOM roadmap and in retaining 100% control of these entities. It's been four years since the plan to unbundle was announced. However, the process is starting to move along. The National Transmission Company of South Africa finally received a license from the energy regulator. NERSA still needs to issue conditions for that license and a license for distribution. It looks like things are starting to happen. Uh, there will, it will need a distribution license from the regulator. It will need a board of directors. It will need um, uh, permission and agreement uh, from the lenders, the Eskom lenders, for this restructuring. Uh, but those are all processes underway. The move is expected to improve the utilities' investment ratings and encourage new investment in distribution. It is critical in order to resolve the problems in distribution. The electricity distribution industry is largely dysfunctional. Uh, it's, it's served by a number of municipalities who don't have the necessary finance, uh, management and skills, uh, and they also have got aging infrastructure, poor maintenance, uh, high levels of electricity theft, of electricity non-payment, uh, steel theft, copper theft, cable theft, all kinds of problems. And so the, the, the restructuring of the electricity distribution industry is long overdue and is vitally important for South Africa. While this move is aimed at improving ESCOM's performance and its ability to ensure energy security, some quarters are not happy. There is the concern that this plan is another plot to loot the utility and then sell it off to private investors. It is important to underscore that the public needs to be mindful that there are many vested interests who seem to be intent on undermining energy security and the restructuring process, both of which will be disadvantaging 60 million people. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.